right there. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how we're signing off. Hey guys, Vinyl Vixen and Slim Shetty. What's up, Team guys? Rap Sesh. Uh, this week we are mobile. Once again, we are at Muto Americas in Phoenix, Arizona. Muto. Yes, Muto. They are the wizards of the large format printers, especially vinyl. Um, so we're actually going to do a wall mural install, yeah. which we've never shown on here. We don't do it very often. We don't do a lot of walls. I've done them in the past for other companies, um, and, but we ha actually, as a company, haven't done a wall yet. Well, yeah, like, I mean, we kind of specialize in doing color change. We do a lot and, of like, cars. Custom. We do a lot of cars, honestly, and we don't have printers in our shop yet. yet. So big stuff so, like this is hard to do for us, but definitely. since they are a print manufacturer, it works. <laughs> they make printers, yeah. what do you know? So uh, we're actually gonna take you guys into the room that we're doing the wall mural in. They actually printed it right here on this printer. This is the 1638X, which is a dual head four color uh, printer. Eco solvent. Eco solvent. Yep, so the material they used, it's a, they did the eco solvent and you actually don't have to laminate it. You just have to let it gas out. So it's a non-laminated film. The um, film's actually pretty cool too, because and we'll show you in a minute. Yeah, it has a like a stucco. It's really cool. Uh, I'm actually really excited yeah. to use it for sure. I've never used this material, so it's new. Yeah. For sure. So shall we adventure mode? Yeah. Adventure mode go. So we are in one of the training rooms here at MUTO. Uh, they train at how to fix all these printers, basically. So we're gonna do a wall mural right over here on this back wall. You can see Amber's already started the first panel. Here is our proof right here. Kind of see what we're going for. They're gonna have a whiteboard uh, right up in the center for their training courses. So this film, really excited to use it. I've never used it before up until today. Um, it is actually Avery 2630. Um, and it is a permanent adhesive calendar film for walls, specifically. So it's a six mil film, pretty thick, 100% um, opaque, so you could cover up old graphics and you won't be able to see through this film at all. So you could cover anything, basically, which is really cool. Um, it is a textured film. Um, this one specifically is the stucco texture. They also have a canvas texture and I believe it's called a crushed, crushed stone. Um, it is a calendar film, so it has very minimal air release, but it's really uh, repositionable, really easy to work with and lay down, um, and super thick. So what we're going to do, Michael's going to show you guys how we kind of get everything lined up, um, talk about our seams and everything on there, and then uh, we pretty much do the Teamwork makes the dream work here. So these, we got the Rolly Pros, these are small. We don't really use a lot of these for like the big stuff, but for corners and right. next to those edges of walls, these are pretty pretty good. This will work for us. Yeah. Um, the big boy roller that we have, which I'll give you guys a close up that Bambi's using, is a 3M TSA 4, which is like a crazy roller that it's like a dual hand roller. Put your heat gun and in you can there. Put your heat gun in there and just like go to town on it. Awesome. So. We actually borrowed that from We Print Wraps, our buddies, they helped us out. Like I said, we don't do wall murals that often, so we had to get some specialized tools specifically for this install. But I think it's gonna go really smooth if Michael lines it up straight. So Michael, how do we start lining up? Because you're you're much better like at lining stuff up. He's done a lot of commercial projects and really really big ones like buses and metros and stuff yeah, like that so in the past, definitely it's been a while. area of expertise so like how do you start lining up a panel like this what did we do uh, normally you just have to I mean you want to definitely measure all your panels um, how long they are if usually they're around 53 inches or so and what's our bleed or what's our overlapping seam going to be the whole way down well our overlap is going to be uh, an inch Right here, you're gonna have an inch seam on every one of these panels, and then we had a an inch seam or an inch bleed on one side, and then we had two inches of bleed on up and down. So basically, you have an inch around every side mm -hmm. with an inch overlap. Yeah. Okay. And then, so what you do is you pretty much take your first panel and you measure from the wall whatever whatever your first panel is, you measure your distance, and then you measure back an inch for your seam, and then you do the same thing over and over again until you get to the end of the wall and that way you, and then 
without even laying anything, you know exactly if it's going to work or not. Right. So, so because you're, you're kind of like pre-mapping it beforehand. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive because you always say you're bad at math, but you're very, very it's good not, at lining up like long, big panels. It's not math, it's just measurements. Well, that's kind of math, I would say. There's some technical ability there. <laughs> okay, anyway, I don't know. so we did get this first panel laid up. So why don't you show us how you do it for the second panel and all your tape marks and everything? So the tape marks, I, I put tape marks on here just to be a guide. A guide. I mean, normally you have everything to line up anyways, so you don't, it doesn't really matter, but. Personally, I like to put tape marks on there. Just get, makes just it easier. Just to make sure you're on track. And then also, I actually made uh, inch marks. So it's a very good idea to mark an inch on your panel because that makes it a hundred times easier to line up. To line your stuff up. Because besides then you throw your you, yeah. Besides just the image, because then you know you're straight, not only lined up. Right, right. So you so, need to be straight and lined up. So the key here is measure twice, measure one. five times, <laughs> yeah. cut once, lay it once. So doing all this extra stuff in advance definitely helps keep everything clean and simple and smooth and running along straight. Yeah. So we've got an inch mark in a couple different spots all the way down and then we have our tape marks from where this was previously laid up. So let's get that thrown up. Yeah, I, I pre-laid this one just to get an extra panel. Sometimes I'll actually lay a couple panels up just to, just to, just make, sure to we're make sure straight. that I'm straight and I'll measure them all out and then I'll just pull them all down and then start one at a time. Right. So the next couple panels I actually didn't line up. So from there, we'll just, once we lay it up, then we'll measure out an inch and, you know, okay. go from there. Let's do it. this wall mural back here. If you guys are interested in the tools that we were using, this is the fancy sauce right here. So this is a 3M TSA 4, I think is what it's called. There you go, a little demonstration. Mm -hmm. Here, <laughs> so I'll do it on the wall. Got to get it like this. There you go. Yeah. Pop it. <laughs> Pop it out. <laughs> so we're using this to post heat and roll it nice and smooth with our heat gun. Um, no, this, this tool is awesome, by the way. Yeah. It, uh, it definitely, you have a lot of control. As opposed to like trying to heat and yeah. really pro at the same time. You get both hands on there, you can get a really nice, even uh, pressure. pressure. Um, and, you know, set your temperature and you're good. And then also, we were utilizing these uh, squeegees. They're kind of a wider squeegee. This is the Pro Rab Duo from Yellow Tools. Those are awesome. I really like that squeegee. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just yeah. It's like an Ulfa or an Excel blade. Oh, uh, yeah. Tape, you know, measuring tape. So stuff once you go like through that. and post heat all of this, 24 hours to cure, and this is golden. I think up to four years is what the permanent This is like, is. yeah, permanent adhesive, so it should be a long, long lasting film. Definitely. So, thank you guys for watching this week. Uh, if you want to see more of our daily fun, make sure to check out our Instagram and Facebook. That is Vinyl Vixen Wraps and Wrap Sesh AZ. Uh, you can also check out Muto at Muto.com if you guys are interested in prints. Um, they do courses here occasionally, training, stuff like that. So make sure you check them out. 
Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you dig the rap sesh vibe. Ugh. Oh, we did it! <laughs> yeah. And we'll see you guys next week. See ya.